Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 is one of the most entertaining and fun to play Need for Speed games even today. But you know what would make this game even more awesome? You've guessed it, some mods. And thanks to the modding community, there is plenty of mods out there we can use. From tanks, choppers, graphics mods, online mod, to neon lights. All of this and more I'm going to show you today. And before we continue, if you want to check out any of these mods, I will leave them all down in the description. Did someone said tank? Well, hell yeah! With this mod, you won't have to worry about Roblox anymore, because this thing goes through like knife goes through butter. And his name is John C. This was definitely one of the most fun mods to use, and it gives you some GTA vibes. If you weren't satisfied with the tank, maybe you will be with a police helicopter. This mod allows you to fly police helicopter anywhere you want. So now you can explore Rockport city from above. But I have to warn you, the chopper is really hard to control and sooner or later you will find yourself crashing like I just did here. There's something for Formula F1 fans as well. Ferrari F1 Formula car, with which you will forget the brakes even exist. Moving on to the next extremely fun mod, which is Bounce Mod. And I don't have to explain you what this mod does, because these clips will speak for themselves. Like, just look at this one. Or maybe this one. Or maybe, check this one. Need for Speed never really paid attention to bike community. So thanks to the modders, they added this Ducati motorbike. And don't ask me why they added a passenger, which looks kind of funny to me. But the most important thing is that this bike can also crash cops, which is extremely realistic. Or, if you want, you can use PCJ600 bike, which was taken from a GTA. And as you can see, it's really hard to control. One thing the vanilla game missed the most was the JDM King Nissan Skyline GTR. Now I probably offended some super fanboys, but I don't care. And with this orbit camera mod, you can observe this car from many angles, which is really cool. We missed this next mod from Need for Speed Underground 2, which is neon lights. With this mod, you can have neon lights on any car. But one thing is wrong, the headlights become neon as well. But hey, that's not a bug, that's a feature. The neon lights really flow good with this next mod, which is night mod. Exactly, it's a 24 hour time cycle mod, which makes the game even more awesome and was really missed in the vanilla game as well. Maybe you want to get some winter vibes. Well, you can do this with this winter mod. And I can't even remember if any Need for Speed game even had winter scenario, which makes this mod even cooler. And unlike other winter mods, this one is actually made really good. And together with this winter mod, you also get a pack of 22 add-on cars, which are really cool. Moving on to some graphic mods, the first one is improved road textures. The roads were actually taken from the Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 and it makes them look much better. But maybe you want to change the looks of the game completely, not just roads. You can do this with this summer texture mod. Or if you're a weirdo and don't like summer, you can use this autumn texture mod, which was made from the same guy as summer texture mod. With this mod you also get a redefined look of your minimap, which is kinda cool. One of the most popular graphic mods is Redux mod. Unlike the other two mods I mentioned, this one makes the game look more realistic. And when compared to the vanilla game, you can really see the difference, which is huge. Play graphics mods are competitor to Redux mod. This one is Play Classic, but honestly it doesn't look as good as Redux mod does. But with this mod you get the ability to change the time of the day, so you can play at night as well, which is a really nice addition compared to the Redux mod. Or if you have some spare cash, you can buy Black Designer mod, which in my opinion is the best graphics mod you can get for this game currently. And you also get the ability to change the time of the day. Or you maybe want to try out Black True Graphics mod, which at daylight is not that impressive, but in my opinion, it has the best night look out of all mods I tested. So if you're more of a night person, you definitely need to check out this mod. Or if you still have some extra cash, you can pay for this black realistic mod. And no, this is not a black commercial. Or maybe it is, because this next winter mod is also from play graphics, but if you weren't satisfied with the previous winter mod, you will definitely be with this one, 
because you get the snow on all roads and it really gives you that winter feeling and it's really awesome you have it to try it out. If you weren't a fan of the old school look of the speedometer, you can try this Need for Speed 2015 speedometer mod, which gives you a more modern look. Or you can even get a brand new Need for Speed Unbound speedometer before the game is even released. How cool is that? Having the ability to play this legendary Need for Speed with your friends is just something else. And thanks to this online mod you can do so right now. If you're one of those who complained about the physics, you can try this physics mod, which makes it a little bit more realistic, but you probably won't be able to see it from this video, so you need to try it yourself. Traffic pack mod gives completely new look to some of the traffic vehicles, so the game gets more refreshing look, and it also gives the ability for trucks and other heavy vehicles to spawn in city area, and yeah, some of them have really funny looking wheels, but hey, it's a mod, so you can't complain. Crazy Traffic is one of those mods that belongs to the fun mod category. And similar as Bounce Mod, I don't have to explain what this mod does, because the name speaks for itself, and also these clips are just crazy. This next mod can also be placed under fun mod category, and it's called Traffic Police. So basically, instead of police cars, you will be chased by heavy duty traffic vehicles, and this gives you some next level police pursuits if I can even call this police pursuit. Or if you're more of a fan of a traditional police pursuits, you can try out this hit level 10 mod, which is not that hard to survive, but is a pain in the ass to escape, because the police helicopter is constantly circling above you. And if hit level 10 wasn't enough for you, you can try raising a difficulty with this undestructible toll booth, that will end up screwing your pursuit run. But thankfully, there is a mod that will compensate all these harder pursuits, and then it's Infinite Nitrous. You can also use it for races, to leave your enemies far behind, but be careful, you will still need to use your brakes before the corner. Rims Pack mod really brings some freshness to the game, with the ability to choose from many different new rims, like BBSs, HROEs, Volks, and many others. Just pick the car and see which suits you the best. Exhaust Pop mod is a nice detail to your car's sound. Oh, and I forgot to mention that there is a mod that changes just the textures of the trees, but it looks kinda funny if you're using it without a graphics mod. Another mod that gives you more modern look is Neon Barriers mod. You can choose from orange and green colors, from pink and blue colors, from red and yellow colors, or maybe you're a fan of a classic blue color, or maybe a pink one. One of the coolest car packs out there is a Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift add-on car pack, which includes this Nissan Velsa 350Z, and of course, if it's a Tokyo Drift car pack, we have to be able to drift these cars. The next one is Nissan Silvia S15 Mona Lisa, in my opinion, the best car from Tokyo Drift movie. Then we have another Nissan 350Z, with the right tune and upgrades you can turn this thing into a drift beast. The pack also contains Sean's Mitsubishi Evo 9, which also drifts really good. And the last car from the pack is Han's Mazda RX-7 with a whale side body kit. And with that we finish more than 40 mods I installed for Need for Speed Most Wanted. There's many more mods out there you can try by yourself, and modding community would definitely still post some new mods as well. In my opinion, the best mod out of all is the online mod. Having the ability to play this game with your friends and replay some of your childhood memories is just something else. And with all that, I will end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like button and subscribe if you're new and comment down which mod was your favorite. And as always, have a great day and I will see you next time.